Hi, my name is Dennis Harper, and this is my interpersonal communication project for HSER 508 at Liberty University. Stewart says that communication is the continuous, complex, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making. In the evaluation that we did for Discovery Health, my communication skills were 80 out of 100, which they state that the, my communication skills were very well and that, way, that I continue to improve on them every day. Stewart also says that our identities are fluid and not static, which basically means that our identities are changing by every communication style or every conversation that we have. Carbonell of Carbonell states that um, that we need to identify our person our personality traits, but also we need to study each personality trait so the people that we have conversations with that we can identify their traits at the same time. In my behavioral blend, my expected that everybody should I expect is SC, which means that I'm submissive and competent in the things that I do. I'm passive in, in my communication. I'm loyal to the people I'm around. I'm steady and stable in the communication that I perceive to everybody. I'm methodical and caring to the, to the people that I have around me. I have reserved leadership, which people respect. I'm a great follower, which it stated in there that my great following skills everybody strives for because leaders like people that follow and they do what they're told. I have sweet and consistent responses to, to the people I communicate to. I handle conf conflict well if, I, if I'm in a conflict situation. Um, people expect that I'm a peacemaker in conflict situations. Um, people also think that I have a fear of moving forward which is they think that, that I have a complacency in that. And then I relate well in small groups. What I actually am is a CIS, which is, again, I'm still passive in the things that I do. People think that I'm a very quiet person, that I, I don't have, that I'm very quiet and do the things that I do. Um, I have strong people skills, though, that people are attracted to how I communicate to other people. I'm inspiring and impressive, which people um, relate to that in my uh, leadership skills. People, um, I am melancholy, but at times I can be upbeat and excited, which um, I'm generally a quiet person, at, but when I get passionate about stuff, I do get excited and upbeat. I'm friendly and com I have a friendly and compliant perspective of when I communicate to other people. I'm personable to anybody that I'm around. Again, I'm a great follower, which people like because I'm one of those that I like to do things very methodically and if somebody tells me to do something, I want to do it the right way. Uh, I respond best to relational envi environments. I don't like to be told to do something. I like to be done in, in a group and how things need to be done. I'm good at avoiding and resolving conflicts. I'm very good at avoiding conflicts, but also if I'm in a conflict, I try to get it resolved as soon as I can. I'm good at caring and thinking. I'm good at caring, thinking, and problem solving, which people are attracted to. Um, I overuse people skills in the, in the collects being direct. So I like to talk to people, but if I get into a situation that starts into um, starts into a conflict, I neglect to direct that towards that situation. And I'm relationally outward. Relationally, I'm outward, but also inward, where I can be jo joyful at times and personable, but also I can sit back in a crowd and be quiet at the same at, at certain times also. My overarching goal is I, that I found out through this class is that I, list, I need to listen empathetically. 
I need to watch my opinions of others. I need to be more decisive. I need to stop pleasing people. And I need to, and I need to have better self-disclosure skills. In my opinion, enlarging the conversation is to acknowledge your, dif your, dif your difficulties in communication skills and then improve upon those skills that you have. My background in listening, I, d I didn't want to listen when I was younger. Uh, was taught to listen from my grandmother though, which helped me out a lot tremendously. Um, have taught myself to effectively listen to others from what I was taught by my grandmother of sitting and actually listening to someone. Um, Berkeley Allen says listening to how we say things can tell a lot about our, ourselves also of how we're listening to that other person. Listening between the lines and listening uh, for cues in other speech. We also have to listen to the line of what we're listening to but also what they're saying back to us. Uh, my opinions, my facial expressions tells a lot about me very quickly. My opinions cause others to reject me when I, when I was younger because I was very blunt because I was taught that way. I had a very blunt kind of opinion at people and, and when, I, when they asked for it I gave it to them. Um, Berkeley Allen also says if perceptions are positive when they will be more receptive, if perceptions are positive then we'll be more percep per receptive to what is being said in the conversation which helps us out a lot. Listening fully to the conversation equals a better opinion of the communicator. If we listen fully we'll know what the conversation is before we butt in and try to do things. My decision making I learned to be a passive decision maker. Didn't want to really make a lot of decisions. Um, I, need, I had a need to win mentality at, a, at any cost in a conversation. Peterson says a need, to win, a, a need to win mentality in communication is a power over people. And, and my leadership position has, forced, has got me into um, decision making growth in what I have right now. Self-disclosure is learn um, that everyone does not need to know my business. I, did, I, I was taught that way. I didn't like to, people to know my business, which people perceived that as rude and lack, um, because they thought of lack of talking or self-disclosing. Or self I didn't like to do. Self-disclosure, as Stuart says, is giving to oneself to another while thinking how it will affect people around us and if it will improve their present relationship. Um, helpful with having patience regarding communication with others. It's always, it, this has helped me completely in that situation. The barriers that I have is overreacting to the situation before it's happened. Um, the um, listening to the whole conversation before, before reacting. Being too empathetic in listening setting the actual limits and disclosing too much of myself with the actual audience that I'm over. The noise pollution, the external noise pollution is interruptions. Media is one of the big things, cell phones, music, things like that, and possibly your career that you're in. In my career that I'm in, that, I, that it could be a pollution. Um, internal would be thoughts, my stress, fears that of maybe not saying the right thing solutions for the pollution is prayer. Prayer is always a good thing to do. Organization of the thoughts that I make before I communicate. Focus on what I'm actually communicating. Removing myself from the population, from the pollution, I'm sorry, which is quiet time, but also removing the pollution around me if I have to. My plan of action is focusing on listening to one conversation at a time being more aware of the audience of the communication I'm having, continue to use my empathetic listening skills that I already have and continue to learn on, make sound and confident decisions, and challenge others around me to be more effective, and confidently, surround, confidently stand by the comments that I say to other people to be more decisive. On my last slide, of course, these are all my references for my communication project and I thank you very much.